Greetings and salutations YouTube, it's Hayden here. Welcome to another edition of Goodwill Hunting where we go to various Goodwills and see what treasures we can find today. We're in Orange County, we're in Anaheim. We're going to the Goodwill Boutique over here. I'm super excited to take you guys in there with me. But if you guys love thrifting, you love thrift hauls and vlogs, don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell button for notifications. Add me on Instagram, it's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. Check out my shop at itshadrian.com to see what I have for sale from my thrifting adventures. Woo. Sorry, making my way, making my way downtown. <laughs> but yeah, so let's go inside the store, check it out. It's a beautiful day today, it's so nice. Um, but I'm really excited to go in there and check it out. Today is Saturday. I wonder if they have any sales because it is 4th of July next week on Wednesday, but sometimes they don't have a sale till the actual day, so who knows. But um, let's go check it out. Like 25% off all green tags. This, uh, this is another fake Tory Birch, unfortunately. What is this guy? No, it's just like a no label. Zenith. These coaches kind of remind me of Chanel's. They're actually kind of cute. They're 25, maybe. Let's see, some Ferragamos, coaches, Kohan, Pierre Dumont. This fake Prada is like a cute color and stuff. I think this is a bright. It is a bright and $20. It's pretty cute. Let's check out these bags that are hanging up here. Steve Madden. It's funny, like all these bags kind of look like something that looks like a Chanel. That one looks like a Celine. That's a Betsy Johnson. This one looks like a Colon. But it's a TNU. This coach. Fabric, missing the crossbody strap. Are these all Uggs? Uggs, how much are these Uggs? $20. More Uggs. These are not Uggs. What are these? Original desert boots? Are these chuckas? No, Clark's original desert boots. These are 20. Not Uggs. Okay, a mark by mark. This one is 15. I'm liking this one. This is a cute one. I really like the fabric ones like these. These are really great travel bags and they're really lightweight. I think I might get that. See what else we can find. I know I'm looking through a lot of bags. <laughs> what is this? Oh no, it's not a coach, is it? Uh no. It's 25. It looks like a coach though, huh? There's this Joel Hawking, but that one's 20. I'm kind of just like rummaging through this thing right here. There's a Michael Kors. This one's 20. They have this Kate Spade New York. Oh, but it's like, yeah, tearing. No good, that's 30 bucks. Right, I'm just looking through the knickknacks. I'm gonna head out. Gotta head home already because we're gonna have a little family dinner. Rainier bowl. This is a gorgeous bowl. That is really pretty. Wait, was that green? So it's 25% off, right? 14 dollars Oh, a Fletcher. Is that like an actual? This is a, uh, I think that's a reprint. Yeah, it's like a print. Oh, 
Oh, this weighing scale is so cool. I like it. Do you guys like that kind of stuff? Because I'm a little obsessed, but I really have nowhere to put it. Now I would totally like put it in the shop. This is this a Liadro? No, probably not. Has that Liadro kind of look though. Oh, this triple vase is so cool. 25% off, $6. This would be perfect for my, um, when I try to like grow my plants. I try to like procreate them or whatever. What are these little moons? Sorry right, guys, going to Crossroads now. It's right over there. Oh my gosh, that Valentino is gorgeous. 760 though. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's Michael Kors. I think this might be a Jimmy Choo. It is. Also found this vintage Chloe patent clutch. It's not, I don't know if it's vintage, but it's $55. There's also this super cute case spade, $42.50. You guys, this red Imperio Armani. It's stunning. You guys, look at this Kenza clutch I just found. All right, you guys, I just left the store and I bought way too much stuff. I can't wait to show you guys what I got. Hey guys, we are back at the house and I'm super excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting. So we went to two stores in this video. We went to a Goodwill, it was a Goodwill boutique, one of my favorite stores. Super excited that we went there. And then also to a Crossroads store as well. And we got some major goodies. So let me start off first. I think, let's start off with um, what I got at, actually I'm just going to kind of pick things randomly as I grab them. Okay, so the first item that I have here to share with you guys is this Mark by Mark Jacobs. Um, I think this is called the Fran. I always forget the names. I know they all have like different names, um, but this one is really cute. Mom actually has this bag in black in the larger version. Um, this is the smaller one, but these bags hold a ton. And I haven't shown this to Mom yet. She may want it because she loves the black one. So much but let me just tell you these are like this is my mom's favorite travel bag because this top part opens up like this which is like the top flap and this compartment is the best you can put your passport in there your wallet anything super important and it's like virtually like so difficult to like like for like so, like a pickpocket or someone to reach into the bag because it just definitely goes all the way in and that's like a lot of work unzip open all that you have to go all the way inside and it goes all the way into the bag so it's awesome it also has a front pocket right here and then it also has a zipper pocket and then two open compartments there as well so this bag is amazing it's in a great gray color gold hardware this was only fifteen dollars which is amazing because every time I see this bag, they always, like, have it marked pretty expensive. But this one was such a good deal. It's so cute. So great. Just a nice crossbody bag. And it's adjustable. You can shorten it and then have make it, like, a shoulder bag. It'll be, like, it'll be, like, this short. So it's, like, a nice sh shoulder size. But it's just a nice handbag. Perfect for, like, every day. But, again, like I said, travel. This is such a good bag. So, love it. So that's the first bag that I have right there. Then, oh, okay, this one is so stinking cute. It's not authentic by any means, but um, I just had to get it because it's so gosh darn cute. It's just, I've <laughs> gotten one of these before, and it's just like a mini, like, Louis Vuitton bag. It's tiny. It would be so cute if you attach, like, a crossbody strap to it. Um, it is leather. I don't, I don't think this is a Vachetta, because I don't think it's, like, I don't think it darkens or anything, but it is leather. I looked, like, at the, I looked at it, it is. And the interior is just nice and clean. Right there. So stinking cute. And this one was 20, oh, there's a tag. $25, a little bit pricey, but it's just so cute. And... I don't know, message me if anyone's interested in it. It's interested in it. I might just I don't keep it like to decorate or something because it's just so cute and tiny. But that one was a really fun find. Um then up next, this one was also a like awesome find as well that I was super excited about. But it's a vintage long chomp 
Do you see the little horse on there? A vintage Longchamp shopper tote. So great. This was only $13 and it's all leather. The leather is beautiful. It's amazing. Um, it opens up. It has like a little magnetic snap button. There's a zipper pocket inside and then two open pockets. But the leather is superb. It's amazing. I love the leather. It's so nice. It's such a great size. And this is like this uh, like the strap too. Like I have like a pretty like beefy arm like right here. And it fits really nicely on my shoulder still. So it still does it still will fit on your shoulder pretty well. And just like a really great tote. And it's not too wide, it's about four inches. So really great. You can use this for every day, school, work, travel. It's just a nice bag and it has silver hardware on there as well for anyone that's interested. And these items, most of them are going to be up in the shop. So again, it's Hadrian.com if anyone is interested. This one I was also excited about because this is a super rare find for me. And it's this super cool vintage coach backpack black brass hardware. Um, this one was made in USA, I believe. Made in... Yeah. Made in United States. So cool. This is the first time I've seen this style in the thrift store. It's one of those, um, like, single strap bags. So, you can carry it just, like, on your shoulder like that. It's so stinking cute. Ugh, oh, I love it. So, yeah, it has, um, top opens right here. This also has, like, a little thing that connects right there if you want to, like, use it to keep it closed, or you can just use this, um, but this also opens right here, if you want to reach in like that, there's a zipper pocket in the back, it's just so cool, it's very 90s and 80s, I feel like, like, late 80s, early 90s backpack, it's so cute, and it's so cool, I love it so much, and it still has a little dongle on there as well, so, really cool vintage coach backpack. Then up next, this was also like really cool to find and I like, like so cool. This one is a Dolce and Gabbana backpack. Amazing. It's so cool. It's fabric and then leather trim. And this guy was $20. The drawstring though, I think the drawstring is like, hold on, let me show you guys. The drawstring on it, though, is missing, but you don't really necessarily need the drawstring in order to open and close the backpack because it has this, but you can easily attach one onto here and just attach another one, um, so that's, like, not even a problem at all, but it's just a really cool backpack, tons of pockets, tons of compartments, and super fun and, like, very edgy, like, motorcycle-y, like, like, super cool. Okay. Oh, okay. Now these are so amazing, like I die every time I see these. Check out these Dolce and Gabbana heels, look at that, they're like, it's like a little cage with like the flowers, it's bejeweled, it's beautiful, so cool, it's like a satin and then the jewels, like I'm, I'm so dead. These were, I think they were $40, ugh, so amazing. Okay, then the last thing that I got at the Goodwill is this super cool jelly furla bag. It's in the like bright magenta pink gold hardware. Still has the little lock on here so you can close up the zipper. So stinking cute. $10. Still has the little um, candy bag for a little charm as well and the bag is actually in fantastic condition this is like the quintessential summer bag so it's perfect so cute and I love these bags so much for the jelly bags are where it's at they're so cool I would love one of these and like just like a white like if I found a white one I would probably keep it and then I'd make it into a crossbody that would be so cool or like a blue or a yellow but yeah in this bright magenta pink it's so much fun Okay, now it's time to show you guys what I ended up getting from Crossroads. So the first item that I have here that I am super duper excited about is this gorgeous Kate Spade satchel. It's in a beautiful brown. 
with the light gold hardware, has a long crossbody strap as well. So stinking cute. And I love the shape of it. Look at the rounded edges. Very nice. And very clean too. And this guy was $42.50 for anyone that is interested in how much I got it for. Then up next, I have this really, really cute Michael Kors. Uh, I had to get it. I love these flat bags like this. It's so nice. Beautiful zipper, two open pockets. There's also a pocket in the back. It has a long strap and then it has a little top handle like this. It's very Kelly-esque, right? Really nice. Got this guy for $47.50. I love this color too. It's so gorgeous. Okay. Then up next, I got, okay, this one was an amazing find as well. This one is the Philip Lim Large Pagely in the white. Okay, get this. This was only $55. Amazing. So it's in the white with the silver hardware. So beautiful. This one does not have the crossbody strap though. This is an older version, so it doesn't have the long strap. But I mean, like, this kind of size, I feel like it's, like... I feel like it's cooler to just carry it with a top handle. I think that's so edgy and beautiful. So there's the interior. I love like this metallic-y like silver lining. And it's just beautiful. It has a zipper pocket right there. And then I love this part about it too. Like you can open the zipper and then like the wings pop out and it's like so fun, so edgy, and so cool. Plus I love like this off-white, like white color. It's really nice. Love it so much. Oh, okay. This one I was so excited to find as well. And this is the Jimmy Chu... Oh, I forgot the name of this. I should've... No, it's not the Rosalie. I forgot. But so gorgeous. This is like their iconic like shoulder bag like this is one of their like best known handbags is it the ricky maybe so cute it's in like this beautiful pebbled leather has like navy stitching on it gold hardware i think it is the ricky i think that might be the name and then just like the beautiful interior right there oh a zipper pocket and then two open or one two Two open pockets in the interior. Gorgeous. I'm gonna have to show this to Mom. I don't even. Yeah, I don't even. I don't know if Mom would necessarily carry this bag because it doesn't have a crossbody, but it's so cute. It does sit nicely on your shoulder as well. So, this one is beautiful. I love it. I know there's a couple of you guys out there that love Jimmy Choo as much as I do. I love Jimmy Choo. Now, this other bag I might keep for myself, especially because I've been already been using it. This is. I think this is the Rosalie. Rosalie? <sighs> Check out the satchel. It's so gorgeous. It's black with like the light gold hardware. Has the long cross body strap, top handle. Oh, it's so cute. I'm literally like using it. This was my bag that I used today. I couldn't wait. I had to start using it. Gorgeous. It has a zipper pocket and then two open pockets and then the buckle just closes and it's just like, the, I love that the straps go down when you're carrying it crossbody, and then you just pull them up like that. So beautiful. This one was the most expensive bag that I got. This one was 200 but well worth it. I've been obsessed with this bag ever since it came out. I remember I was working in the store when this bag came out, and I was like, oh my gosh, this bag is so gorgeous, but it was so expensive. And I was like, one day I'm going to own this bag, and now I do own it, so it's beautiful. I'm, like, so obsessed. Um, I'm still... Deciding whether or not I'm going to keep it for sure, but if anyone's interested, they'll let me know. Um, but it may or may not be in the shop, but I'm like so obsessed with it. I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> I like was using it to see how much I liked it or not. And so far, it's been <coughs> superb. But that's going to end the video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and checking out the thrift stores and my haul video. Um, I hope you guys had fun. If you guys did, please give the video a big thumbs up and let me know what your favorite item was. Let me know if you guys have found anything really cool recently because I love hearing about your finds as well. And thank you guys so much for watching again. Check out the vlog up at 2 p.m. And tomorrow, a new video bright and early at 7. I love you guys so much. See you guys later. Bye.
All right, you guys, so this is the first thing that we're gonna barbecue. Oh my gosh, this chicken is so good. Mom made it a few nights ago. I don't know if you guys remember in the vlog, I came home and this is what was waiting for me and it is so good. It smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. We need smell a vision for real. Oh, we need taste a vision. I wish I could just like reach through the camera and give you some. But not when it's raw, so let's cook this up right now. I have the grill nice and hot. Um, and I'm going to put lay down some foil. 